We are now switching gears one more time. We're now switching into working with color. So I want to show you how to use the paint bucket tool to change fill colors. We'll talk about the ink bottle tool. We'll talk about gradients and creating custom colors and all kinds of great stuff. But I'm going to start you off nice and easy here in this exercise with the paint bucket tool. And the paint bucket tool is going to allow us to change the fill colors on our objects, on our shapes. Okay? You'll find the paint bucket tool down inside the toolbox. So go ahead and grab that fella. And all I would do with this guy after I've selected him is I'd head down to the fill color swatch at the bottom of the toolbox and I'd go and choose a new color that I want to use. So perhaps what I'll do is I'll choose sort of a, a light green here, maybe, maybe this guy here, okay? And that's all there is to it. Now, down at the bottom of the toolbox, we have this gap size modifier. And just a quick note on this gap size modifier, sometimes your shapes wind up getting little gaps in their outlines. Sometimes maybe when you're moving shapes around or something. So you can go and set a gap size modifier for your paint bucket when you're changing your fills if you want. Quite honestly, I'm only mentioning this because I feel somewhat obligated to mention it. I've never actually had a situation in all the years that I've worked with Flash. I've never had a situation where I'm like, you know what? If I just set that gap modifier, that would help me out. But it is there in case you run into a situation. So literally, I grab the paint bucket tool, I choose my new fill color, and then away I go inside my project file. So literally just single clicking on the fills on my objects will change their fill color, just like that. Okay, so you can literally just fill them all in just like that. It's a nice fast way to go and change your fill colors. Notice though that this guy's working on the shapes that were created using both object drawing and merge drawing, which is wonderful but he's not working on the cartoons that I imported from Illustrator. It's not working on groups, okay? So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. We'll talk about groups in just a little while. And of course, if I wanted to, I could come back and I could go and change my fill that I'm using and then go and make some changes inside my file. It's a super fast way to work. But I have to be honest, usually what I wind up doing is, well, pretty much something that we've already seen already, I'll go and grab my black arrow tool and I'll select my shape. And then usually what I wind up doing is heading over to the properties panel and changing the fill color that way. Now, the only downside to working this way, and again, as you can see, this is working either with shapes that were created using merge drawing or object drawing, is I have to do it one shape at a time. That's the only downside. The nice thing about the paint bucket, as you saw, is the speed. I could just click through all the different fills and change them all in one shot, okay? So there you go. That's how you can work with your paint bucket tool. You might want to spend a moment kind of fiddling around with them. And when you're ready, we'll take a look at the ink bottle tool and we'll see what he's all about.